<laughs> that door's really squeaky. So <laughs> Welcome. This is our vacation rental in South Padre Island, Texas, is where we are at right now. So, <laughs> this is nearly impossible. How about we do this? All right, so we want to give you a quick tour of our rental here. It's it's fairly mm -hmm. minimalist. The, all the stuff on the counter is, is throwing out just a little bit, but the rest and, of it. And that's less things than what were here when we got here. Right? Yeah, I've talked yeah. some of them away. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we want to give you a quick tour and let you know what we've been up to for fun. So when you walk in, obviously here is the kitchen. It's, I don't know, it's a really nice size and I like the white cabinets. Um, there are some doors missing. <laughs> which I don't love that Here you can there, yeah. you can see the stuff inside of them. But it's a vacation rental, so we don't actually care. Yep, and they had tons of appliances sitting out. We've put some of them away, but I think they wanted us to see everything that they had. Probably. Um, which is nice. We were really glad that they had an air fryer. Um, we almost brought ours from home because we use it that much. But the, the really cool part, I think, is when you actually come in to the rest of it because this is, I think, what is the super cool part. We're also gonna tell you too um, why we're not camping this week while we're gone either. Yes. So, but, so here is the view. We are actually up on the 10th floor. And so this is the bay side of Texas in South Padre Island. So it's been a really cool view and um, really nice to be able to sit out on this balcony and look out there. Mm -hmm. The dining room itself is pretty minimalist but it's been really nice it's very fancy it is pretty fancy compared to yeah, our house <laughs> oh should we turn on the light for the light yeah, picture Woo. <laughs> <laughs> then we go into the living room <laughs> there are children sitting <laughs> we made them turn off the tv there's a, <laughs> a big tv here that is connected to netflix and amazon prime and so and YouTube, so yeah. the kids have been having fun. But nice size living room, and again, though, the view is just awesome. Like the floor to ceiling windows let, let in tons of light, so that has been really cool. Mm -hmm. And then I'll show you behind me. Then there's just like this little desk area, which. Yeah, and this is mechanical and mechanical. For some reason, they put it in two different rooms. Yeah, so not really anything we've used, but it's cute. So, all right, then we'll head down. We'll head down the hallway this way. And then, so a bathroom for the kids to use. And then this side is uh, two double beds mm -hmm. that the kids are staying in. They're all four in here. And then down here is just the master, which is significantly larger than anything we have. Yeah, way bigger than our bedroom. Uh, four ceiling windows again, which is cool. We sit and drink coffee over here in the morning. But and yeah, then, the windows are yeah. super cool. And actually we really like the size of this bedroom. This seems like a really nice master bedroom size. Maybe a touch big. It's pretty big. <laughs> but, For us, it's pretty big. It may yeah. not look that big on camera. And then it has a huge walk-in closet and then a full bathroom. Yep. So not really making use of the, <laughs> the walk-in closet, but it could almost serve as a third bedroom, which is kind could of nice. <laughs> if you had like a toddler or yeah. a baby in a crib. Totally. Well, that would be perfect. And you know what we're probably gonna say. <laughs> okay, I don't Sleeping. wanna say, I don't wanna sound like a complainer because we have been so fortunate to get to stay here and we will tell you why we don't have a camper this trip. And it's not really complaining, it's more okay. just like giving an honest review of okay. our sleep quality since we've been on vacation. Okay. We really miss our Helix mattress. Correct. That would make this stay perfect. And we're not talking we're not bashing this mattress, it's just not for us. It's just not for us, <laughs> thank you, yeah. So we are so grateful to have our Helix mattress at home. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Uh, Tom and I are side and stomach sleepers, and so we were matched with the Helix Dusk Lux. And what we did was we went online, we took the Helix Sleep Quiz, super easy um, you go online you fill in what kind of firmness you like your sleep positions and it will match you with your perfect mattress as well and then you're going to be the one going on vacation being like i just want to sleep at home <laughs> <laughs> 
And what's so great is that um, we do have a link down below where you can save up to $200 on your mattress, yep. but it includes delivery to your door. The shipping mm -hmm. is included. It comes in a small box. A really small box compared to the size and quality of the mattress. So mm -hmm. you can set it up really easily. You get to watch the magic as it inflates. It will suck all the air out of the room you're in. <laughs> it is really fun to watch. If you it will never house, ever go back down to the size it came in. Never. <laughs> But once it has taken its shape, mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's awesome. We sleep so well on our Helix mattress. It's actually kind of hard to believe that we've had our Helix mattress for over a, like a year and a half, a little over a year and a half now. And we still love it just as much as when we first got it. And what's so cool is that you get their 100 night sleep guarantee. So if at any time during that 100 nights, it's not for you. They will offer you a full refund and take care of getting your mattress and removing it. Plus they also have a 10 year warranty with flexible payment options. And we all know how important sleep is and you might not even realize that you're not getting a very good night's sleep until you get a new mattress and see what you've been missing out on. So we'll put that link down below so that you can save up to $200 as well. Thank you Helix for all of your support. We greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're gonna go back out there and we'll visit a little bit, tell you why we don't have a camper, what we've been up to here on the island. <laughs> Overall, you really like the condo. Yeah, I really like the condo a lot. I yeah. really like the minimalistic style. I like how light colored things are. Not a lot of decorations. I noticed even when we were trying to pick out a rental that if they had all the decor, I was just like, ugh, I don't think I can pick that one. <laughs> So, um, it's almost like there's something about simplicity that draws people in. Almost like that. That's <laughs> interesting. So, um, the reason we are not in our camper this winter vacation. Tom sold it. No, he did not. Gone. No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> My truck blew its motor. At home, not on the road. My 2015. Which I was so glad. It only has how many miles? 2000, it? It's a 2015 F-150 with 76,000 miles on it. Spun a rod bearing Never two and a half it. months ago. Yeah. Um, which then in turn destroys the entire engine. It literally is full of metal shavings, which you mm -hmm. cannot get out. And so we. So that yeah. actually happened in November. November 30th. Right. So at that point, we had still thought, like, well, we should really get it fixed and then still have a little time. They originally quoted us like mid January to have it fixed, and we're like, okay, we'll have a little time to. It was originally January, or the first week of January oh, okay. was the original quote. And so we thought like, that'll give us some time to test it out, make sure everything's working, and then hit the road for beginning of February. Mm -hmm. Where is your truck still? Uh, I'll show you guys. <laughs> There's my truck right there. <laughs> so yes, the cab is off of it. It's still at the dealer, has no motor. Well, the, I think by this time the motor should be in it. Mm -hmm. The cab may be back on it, but it got but it's back. Not order. done yet. Yeah. So you you bought a reman um, engine for it, and that got back ordered. Yeah. It, it actually ruled out camping for us All because together. <laughs> we don't have a vehicle to pull the camper. Which, in a way, because both <laughs> I know that we have new friends with us, so you don't know. Both of our last two winter vacations, the last two years, have been breakdowns with vehicles. This would have been three for three. <laughs> if if the engine would have gone on here, I'd have been like, we're done. We're selling the camper. We're, no, I'm just kidding. But so in a way, it, it kind of took off stress and pressure to be like, we can't camp. We're just going to rent a rental somewhere, drive a reliable vehicle down there, mm -hmm. and just not have to worry about it. So um, we had friends that were staying down here on South Padre Island, mm -hmm. another family from our small group. And so, um, and they have kids that are similar ages to our kids. So we're like, let's head down there for a, a few days and, and hang out with them, um, and check out South Padre Island. We've never been this far South in Texas. Tom will tell you our friends in Texas that. This does not feel like Texas. Yeah. This feels like a vacation town, yeah. which is fine. Mm -hmm. And. This rental is beautiful mm. and it's, but. But there's no like, like we just drove down. Yeah. <laughs> there was no like major stress or issues or since we've been down here, like That's how vacations are everything to be, right? just works. Yeah. And like, it's just like, this, I don't know. there's was, no adventure to this trip. <laughs> right. It is kind of funny because when you come over the bridge to the island, 
there is a campground off uh -huh. to the one side as you're coming over. It's right on the ocean. It's a KOA. It looks really like a really nice, like yeah. cool campground. And there was part of me that was like, oh, I'm kind of bummed that we're not camping. Yeah. It's just a different kind of vacation. I, I don't like it. It's weird. <laughs> I mean, so, hold on. I'm not complaining about again, being on vacation. Right. Not right. doing it all. In a beautiful rental, right? But I like, I like it. I guess I don't like when things break, but I like yeah. being the outside challenge more. of keeping things going and being outside. Well, I mean, like the boys, like, so we're, I don't know how big this condo is, but right. the boys are just like cooped up right now. And when right. we would be camping, they'd be outside, they'd be digging in the dirt, they'd be ripping stuff off of trees. Yeah. Like I have a new appreciation for all of you who like live in apartments and stuff with small kids. Mm -hmm. There was one morning I like put on like one of those like walk in place YouTube videos because I'm like, it was rainy outside and I'm like, we can't go outside and they need to wear off some kind of yeah. energy. And it's been a little bit cool while we've been mm -hmm. down here too. So that we were kind of like, okay, what else do we do if we can't go to the pool and to the beach? And so we did um, a few things we've been doing. Uh, one day we drove up to the Northern part of the island, mm -hmm. um, which is more remote. There's like sand dunes. And we just went to the end of the road and parked and went to the beach. And there was um, some gentlemen that were um, looking for shrimp, like in the sand, which was kind of cool. And then other people fishing. And the, what did the one guy tell you about if we went up further? He's like, if you come back down, you drive onto the beach and you drive the beach up north, go like another 10 miles, you'll find like really cool big shells. He's like, you won't find them down here, but if you go 10 miles north on the beach, you'll find them. And I'm like, we're like, that sounds awesome, awesome why right? Not? So we're driving and driving <laughs> and the kids are like, we're hungry and we want to go back. And we're finally like, we, there was no cell phone service. Uh -huh. There were not hardly any people around. And finally we're like, okay, this five minute like feels like a vacation to us. Yep. And we're driving and driving and we finally get out and we're like, no, the nope. shells are the exact same. All here. the same. <laughs> so Which is fine. I mean, it's totally yeah. fine. And that was 12 miles. So. Yep. <laughs> So we didn't find the big cool shells. I'm sure I told Tom, I'm like, if we would have went one mile further, if we would have got <laughs> like there, a right? of shells. But that was, I think that was one of my favorite days so far. Otherwise we've just been spending, when it has been nice enough, we've been just spending time at the beach. I mean, the kids could dig in the sand yep. for hours and hours and hours. Yep. And then we did also go out on um, a dolphin cruise to see oh, yeah. the dolphins. And that was, that was pretty okay. Yeah, so <laughs> it was fine. I like things, I like things with motors and four wheels. So this had a motor, but no wheels. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big, like, I, I think in my head, I think, hey, like some big deep sea fishing would be really fun, mm -hmm. but I don't like boats. Yeah. I don't like boats at all. Um, but what was cool about that was when we took off after seeing some of the dolphins, mm -hmm. they came in, they rode in the wake. We were standing at the back of the boat. Yeah. And the dolphins were like, if you look down, you could see just their fins right at the back side of the boat. I was like, well, that they were like that playing was cool. in the wakes of it. Yeah. Yep. So it was, it felt very touristy. We did see quite a few dolphins. It was hard to get on video, but yeah. which was cool. The kids thought that was cool. And it was kind of cool just to go out yeah. in the bay a little bit, but would we do it again? And <laughs> Corbin did not think it was cool either. Yeah. He doesn't like boats either. <laughs> he does not. That was like one of those parenting moments where you're yeah. like, do you push them over the line to like be like, yeah. we're going to get you outside of your comfort zone. But so. last year when we did the um, airboat. airboat tour, he did not like that either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the uncertainty of being out yeah. like, in the middle of water. What actually he said, so he watches a lot of History Channel mm -hmm. with her dad, with yeah. their grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> before, That's just good and bad. <laughs> before we got out there, he was like, I don't, I don't like this. I'm not, I think I, he's, what did he say? I think I've watched too much shipwreck. <laughs> ship sinking. Ship sinking or, or like them pulling them up out with grandpa. The, the, I know what, it's something like, I know what's underneath the water. I don't want to watch. I know. He watched one on bridges <laughs> collapsing here and it's like, what, a two mile bridge coming out here. I'm like, oh, okay. Sorry, so, buddy. <laughs> so we're deciding that, that it's like, okay, we have to, we do have to push you outside of your comfort zone <laughs> yeah. just a little bit. And I mean, the boat, boat felt very safe, so yeah, it, yeah. it was fine, but. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to monitor. I just thought channel. it was funny that he acknowledged that it's probably the, the shows he's watched with Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Educational shows that, <laughs> that makes him this fearful. Yeah. One little bit of adventure that I did like 
enjoy about this trip, which yeah. I mean, sorry, hold on. I, I enjoy this trip. Yeah. But the adventure piece, mm -hmm. our friends who were down here as well, yeah. their fuel pump went out of their van. It and was so like the highlight of Tom's trip. I, <laughs> I got to diagnose it and figure out what it was. I was actually going to change the fuel pump for them, but I couldn't get, I, I, I could tell that the fuel tank wouldn't come down far enough to get out from under the van. What was crazy is I, I went to grab a couple groceries and I came back and I saw it getting loaded up on a trailer and I had this like, <gasps> and then I'm like, it's not our vehicle, it's not our vehicle, it's okay. And so I was like, Whew, it's okay, it's not our car. So I think I still have some like past stress to work through. Tom did get to, <laughs> I, yeah, I got to crawl bit. around under a van. Yeah, life is good. Yep. Good. We also, um, we went, there's like a sea turtle rescue place. We went there again. It was like an hour thing, not like I a... think I think because we're more outdoorsy and country and all that already, that some of these nature-y things didn't really feel super like... Yeah. It felt like something to do on a cold day when you can be at the beach. So, yeah. but overall, I don't know if we would come here again. I mean, we have met the nicest people. It's funny, like everyone we've met so far is like from the upper Midwest, like mm -hmm. Minnesota, Iowa, yep. Wisconsin, Michigan, Nebraska. Yep. So that's been kind of fun. Um, everyone is so kind and helpful. Mm -hmm. Good restaurants and, and mm -hmm. um, like atmosphere that way. But um, I think I do miss just kind of getting out into nature mm -hmm. and getting away from people. Would That would probably be more of my ideal mm -hmm. vacation. Florida wasn't even necessarily that last year either, but. No. Um, no, there was a bunch of... But we, at least of, we got to camp. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, I think our ideal vacation would be like a mix of heat, sunshine, and sand, mm. but yet still be able to like retreat to like the scenicness of like mountainy or hiking, hiking and mm -hmm. trails and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But again, not complaining about where we are right Sounds now. Sounds like it. Because... We know how cold it's been oh, in Minnesota. Oh, hold on, the maid is so, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, for dinner just arrived. <laughs> no. It has been nice having, like, the condo style, too, where we can cook a lot, and um, yep. that has been that has been really nice. So mm -hmm. from here, we're actually going to head up to Biloxi, Mississippi, and we're going to meet up with my parents. So normally my parents do join us for at least one leg of our vacation, which we, we always have fun with. So they're going to meet up with us there. And we are gonna check out what there is to do in Biloxi. It looks like some fun stuff to do there. Mm -hmm. Again, not at all getting away from people. Or <laughs> no, your dad has that. wanted to go to Biloxi for the last couple of years, so yeah. that's kind of why we're going there. Yeah, so we're gonna drive up there from here, and um, we'll have another rental there that we'll get to check out mm -hmm. and see how it compares. But yeah, so far I think we were thrilled with this. We booked it kind of last minute, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's been super nice, and we've really enjoyed it, and so. Mm -hmm. Really glad to get to stay here, and yep. just kind of like reinforces like you just you don't need a lot of stuff to live with, right? Just to be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have heard some people say like, do you ever get to a vacation rental and like put stuff away, like some of the decorations? <laughs> stuff, and just like it's just a little much, you know. <laughs> so oh, you did that. I could totally relate to that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we would love to know what you're up to. I would love to know like favorite vacation spots. We've been asking people like around here, like, okay, because a lot of them travel, we're like yeah, yeah, favorite yeah. vacation spots. Yeah. So if you are going somewhere warm for the winter. We, yeah, warm for winter. Yeah, it has to be warm yeah. in the winter. <laughs> if you already live <laughs> somewhere warm, we don't want to hear from you. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we love to, to hear your ideas because we love Texas, but we do um, love Texas. it's fun to check out other places yeah. as well. So we hope that you have a great weekend. We love you and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.